York City. It's officially 5 a.m. in the a.m. Uh, Koki Bird there, keying up all over that, uh, bag of music. Good morning, New York City, your Brooklyn side video game is rolling. I'm now back in my choirs here. <laughs> Someday he'll make it to Richie's. Watch this, guys. Watch what happens. Watch this. Are in awake. Poor bird man. Stuck on fake video gates. Check the other four at the exact same time, boys. <laughs> Ah, 
Am I supposed to be upset? I hope not. It's a wake and bake morning, fellas. Wake and bake. Poor little Cracky. Poor little Crackerel. Listen to how coked up he is. Listen to how coked up he is. Oh, poor little Cracky. Damn. Damn, Cracky. Should I go to the next page of the book? Should I uh, just turn the page in my magic book? Chapters of the cracky. He wants to sound so like he thinks he knows something bad or something good. What happened, cracky? What happened, cracky? What happened is right there. You're scared. You're crying. You, you're supposed to be a tough guy coming to beat me up, kill me, waving guns, threatening me about three car garages. Come on. I think I want to open up my notebook and see what I found on the next pages. A joke called Birdman. Next chapter. sound like any kind of tough guy you need to worry about him or his master I don't think so why are you stepping on your little dope free junkie team member I severely think it's a game, dude. We got Kevlar gloves they were bringing forgot all about. We got Koki Burr with the scam that didn't work on the radio. Who went berserk, cried like a little bitch all over, ran around with just about every police department on public camera screaming, he's got guns, he's got, can I do something? Then he's grabbing guns, talking about he coming, screaming and yelling he on Utica and Atlantic, which is like 23 blocks away, man. Get real, man. Like I said, funky monkey junkie team member, man. And a chicken bird. Now I'm gonna go load this quarter coffee. I'll be back. Yo, I want my bamboo tuning sticks. 
themselves tough guy and assassins and all they do is cry from 30 blocks away with a whole bunch of oh, you're joking me dude it's the coke dude it's the coke coke definitely does that to that bird Damn, dude. I purchased my first handheld in 1992 in my life. 1992, I purchased my first walkie-talkie in my life. All right, guys, let me go load this coffee. Um, new tales, new tales of mail, all the cover. I'll be back, guys. Look at that. He's on a cokey babble, Eddie. He's on a cokey babble, dude. Listen, pay attention. Monkey, hey, white caddy. Hey, white caddy. I suck your dick, white caddy. Oh, Trin's even worse today. Crush on the junkie monkey. Good morning, Trinitron 9. Good morning, Trinitron 9. You're king back quiet. Yeah, the king just got About to you gotta wait till that coked out bird ain't keying up. I can't hear you, Trim, but I'm waving good morning. Morning, bring up, bring up. <laughs> Tell him again, Trent. All by myself. I can't hear you when he's on the key. He almost touching the red. He swears he's close by, but he's about 30 blocks away on Atlantic and Utica. When I'm crushing him, taking out all those little yokels, crush on the junkie monkey. Roger, right on, Trent. Let me, let me load this coffee, man. I've been dying to do that for two minutes already. I'll be right back. We ain't got a coffee pot to make coffee in. Crush on the junkie monkey. Imagine a grown ass man at 54 years old having a dorm. He's got a dorm like a college freshman. Shame on a mess. Hey, Trinitron, get his attention and let him know that I never, ever met you or touched your radio. I'm back quiet. You power up the radio, you key it, and you throw it in the bucket. It makes the, be the radio all better. <laughs> That's right, Mr. 250. Top of the morning, brother, brother. Good morning, Mr. Brother. Just got, uh, just got. Roger, right on, Trin. I hope someday I do get to meet you. Maybe do that radio up for you so uh, you don't sound the way you do in this gate. The King of New York, I'm back quiet. Yes, Mr. 250, you're coming in, no problem. You're crushing the junkie monkey as usual. Right, right. He's crushing, crushing me while he's bad foot. He don't even got his box on yet. Yo, I'll tell you, 250, every time he... Crush. His dick must try to become hard because he starts jumping up and down trying to get your attention. That's typical. That's typical of a crackhead. That's typical of a junkie. Uh, You're listening to a crackhead junkie fag. All right, guys, I shall be back. And don't let that Mary know I'm stepping all over him, please. I'm getting sweaty and his heart rate increases dramatically. Yes, sir, you got to see it. I'm not doing a video game right now. But um, anybody who can... I wonder why. Say it again, boys. But don't let them know. Just keep it going. I got down. He's jumping up and down. 
sexual fantasy into it. Tell them why you're not gating, Bird. Tell them why. Just like all around the tri-state gonna let them know. I'm back on my whole... Look, he keyed up all over his plus. Sound like I'm the cat blowing up their tennis boxes, have broken a Meritron's, blown out two pills, bad antennas. Does it sound like I really need any radio equipment? I think radio work pays my rent and for all my extras real well. The king of New York with the Midas touch my quad. from, but it's the wrong Richard, the king of New York, no matter about it, oh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be a heartache tonight, I know. You guys stepping all over 250 like that. Eddie, this is supposed to be your boy, Eddie. $500 to put themselves back on the street. And these are grown ass people with the. Wow. Sounds like guys that were out here all last year screaming, Who is this guy? Where did he come from? They're trying to talk like they were back with me in the 90s. The most funniest thing was in Foster trying to tell one of my old employees about. <laughs> I got the. All right, I'll be back, New York City. Your hole in the wall, BK shop. You could deal with the coke down bear and the just uh, half awake, uh, whatever over there. I'll be right back, bro. Look, he's keying up all over. Poor birdie keying up all over in Fawcett. Look at that, poor birdie trying to key up with me all over in Fawcett. Ain't that a joke of a joke of a joke? I hope uh, them video gates I never see over there show it just that way when I come off the key, Bertie talking, oh. Sleeps up and earn a dollar to keep the junk around. He's stepping all over you there, 250. When I key up, your man step all over you trying to forget you, but he ain't stepping on nobody with an audio crash. I'll be right back. So you can buy more coke, more coke, cokey bird, more coke, that's all you're about. You want to put your blood against mine? Oh, I'm sorry, you're a cokey bird. You hang 30 blocks away crying and yelling and making threats. <laughs> Well, of course, I think he's doing something, too. I gotta turn the preamp on or he'll go crazy. I gotta turn the preamp on for a force or he'll go crazy. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, Trin. You found the problem, located it. Now we're talking. Solid as hell. Roger, right out there, my man, Trina, Toronto, down around Coney Island. Trina, I hope someday I get to meet you, man, and uh, work up that base station for you. I got a couple of base stations operating out here in New York City. You hear? You see what I'm about? The king of New York, my choir. Richie and April Hall, huh? 
Roger, right on. Hey, Trent, how them numbers doing over there, Trent? Roger, right on. Roger, right on. All right, Trent, it's right now. Let me uh, finish over here with this coffee. I got this Alinko radio over here. Wow. My first Alinko 10 meter, man. First, I thought it was a Galaxy or something, but it's an Alinko. Love this blue display, man. Let me, uh, you know I run the whole in the Wolf TV shop. I got work over here. Let me go on the side, man. It ain't all about the mic time or wiping up their tears. Trent, I got to go. That's what happens. That's why he's loaded over. Just being plain lazy, not wanting to go out and get a JLB, man. He's been doing that all his life. Look, he's 50 years old. He's a two-time loser, convicted felon. He, uh, what does he have for himself other than lies and storytelling? You're right. I did expose him, his family, his dying daddy, his dying self, his... Government, his address, you're right. I exposed it all, man. It got him to forget about his Kevlar gloves. Yes, it did. The king of New York, Bacqua. That you uh, needed to know about Cracky and his dirty past. Yeah, I got a chance to check out the uh, farm. I think it's the old thing. Yeah, They're but... all going to know about my past pretty soon. Yeah, and people insist on going to him for any kind of radio work after all that information was put out. They don't care what happened in 1992 while I was an undercover copper in the 90s. They only care about the finished product and the half or less price I charge them to get that awesome work on back why. Yeah, forgive uh, everyone out there. Forgive that crackhead 127 when he says, yeah, he was in prison. He was in jail. I confess, I confess, I just left his house. I was smoking his crack all night. My apologies, New York. He claims he was undercover. The only cover you were under 